Hey everybody, welcome to Stive, the Shock the Insanity video experience. Apologies for this video being out a little later than I anticipated. I had some unfortunate technical issues on my end that kept me from connecting to the internet by way of the laptop I used to film these videos. I just wanted to do a couple quick reminders today, some things that are going on. To begin with, early voting is open in the a number of jurisdictions here in the United States of America. In addition to the presidential elections that are obviously going on, you will probably also find a number of local, state, and federal elections taking place as well. All of those will have candidates and perhaps even various issues to be voted on as well. And folks, if you have the ability to vote, go vote. Now, I've heard some people say they don't like any of the candidates going on in a particular race, but, folks, if you don't vote, you are effectively voting for whoever and whatever wins. Just keep that in mind. Additionally, Halloween is next week, according to the calendar. You've probably heard all the warnings about how to be safe on Halloween, make sure you wear something reflective or at least very bright so people can see you and you don't get run over, always check your candy, make sure it's safe, it's got the wrappers on and everything. Folks, there's reasons for that. For As I note in the column this I did this past Tuesday, it's not just hype and hyperbole. People not wearing reflective clothing at night. There's been a number of instances where I almost did not see somebody or somebody else on the road with me almost did not see somebody. And bad things very nearly happened. It was only split-second reflexes that prevented accidents. So I can tell you from experience that's important. Halloween is for ghosts and goblins, not becoming a ghost. Third thing I just want to remind everybody is holidays are coming. That means vacations. If you have newspaper service and mail service, one of the things you do need to remember to do ahead of leaving on vacation is to either find a trusted individual who will retrieve these for you or take the steps necessary to have your service temporarily halted until you return. To put it simply, ladies and gentlemen, mail left in a mailbox for an extended period is subject to theft, and if newspapers begin building up on your lawn, that tells people you're not home. That leaves your house subject to vandalism, robbery, or perhaps even squatters. And it may also even get code enforcement coming around if there's a city ordinance against letting things build up like that. So that's just a couple things to add onto your checklist. For your mail, just go to the post office. For your newspapers, all you gotta do is contact circulation and let them know. Speaking of the holidays, there's a chance that I may not do any videos the week of Thanksgiving. If family comes down, then I'm going to probably not have time simply because I will be helping out with holiday preparations and everything. We'll see what happens. Catch y'all later.